Come in, have a seat. Thank you. I was so sorry to hear about your son. How are you getting on? Well, it's hard to say. There are good days and bad days, really. I'm sure. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm worried about my daughter, Keris. Um, Gavin wasn't the first person in our family to die suddenly. Okay. Well, I think what might be helpful is if we draw up a family tree. That way we can see if Keris is at risk. Is that okay with you? If you think it'll help, of course. Okay. Well, let me start off by confirming some of your details. So you're Helen Evans. And I can see from your records that your date of birth is 6 May 1963, is that correct? That's right, yes. Okay. And as far as I know, you're generally in good health. Is there anything I don't know about? No, nothing. Um, I get the odd cold here and there, but that's about it, really. Thank you. Can you um, tell me about your husband, please? Uh, yes, he's called James. Um, do you want his date of birth as well? Yes, please. He was born on the 17th of February, 1957. And did you take his surname when you married? Yes. And is he in good health? He is. And one last question about you and your husband. Are you related to each other at all by blood? No, we're not. Okay. So you and James had two children together, Gavin and Karis, is that right? Yes, that's right. Could you spell Keris for me, please? Yeah, sure. That's C-E-R-Y-S. And what were their dates of birth, please? Keris was born on the 25th of August, 1995. Gavin was on the 18th of October, 1997. Then um, he died on the 3rd of March, 2017. Thank you for that. Last time we spoke, you still hadn't had an explanation as to why Gavin died. Have you heard anything since? No, they still haven't been able to tell us anything. It must be very hard for you. I'm sorry to hear that. Apart from Gavin and Karis, do you have any other children? I don't, but James does from his previous marriage. Okay. What do you know about his previous partner and their children? Right, he was married to Brenda. Mm -hmm. She's 58 now, I think, and they've got two sons, Paul and Simon. Um, Paul's the eldest, he's 32, and Simon's 28. Um, they did have a daughter as well, Lucy, but she died quite suddenly. That would have been in 2005. Um, she was only 17. Do you know what happened to her? Um, no, not really, sorry. No, that's fine. You mentioned that there were some other people who died suddenly in your family. Was that on your side or on James's side? Oh, they were all on James's side. There haven't been any sudden deaths on mine. Okay. Does James have any siblings? No. And can you tell me anything about his parents? Um, yes, his mother was called Celia. She died suddenly. That was years ago. I think she was only in her late twenties. Um, and his father's name is Thomas. And what about Thomas? Is he still alive? Yes, yes. He's 85 now. He's in great shape as well. He still goes hill walking. <laughs> That's great. So, is there anyone else in James's side of the family who's died suddenly? Yes, there has actually. Um, the daughter of one of James's cousins, a girl called Charlotte, she died a couple of years ago uh, during a PE lesson at school. And how was Charlotte related to James's side of the family? Right, um, Charlotte's grandma, Beth, was James's aunt. So Beth was Celia's sister. Okay, let me just work this through for you. So, did Celia have any other siblings? No, just Beth. But Beth died quite young as well. Um, I think she was only about 30. Do you know what happened to her? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Um, I think it was unexpected, and I don't think it was an accident, so I suppose it could have been a sudden death. And um, what about Beth's husband? That was Gareth Smith. 
He lived until well into his 70s. Um, he only died a few years ago, actually. Um, he had lung cancer. And how many children did Beth and Gareth have? They had three. Um, there was Barbara, who was Charlotte's mum. She was the youngest. Mm -hmm. She had two older brothers. Um, one of them died young, too. but. Uh, I didn't know him, actually, but as far as I know, his death was sudden as well. Do you know how old he was when he died? I think he was in his early 20s, but I'm, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I didn't even know anything about him until recently. And do you know how old Barbara is? Uh, yes, because she was born in the same year as me, so that's 1963. 1963. And what about her other brother? Oh, that's Malcolm. He's a couple of years older than Barbara. Um, as far as I know, he's healthy. And does he have any children? No, he doesn't. And who's Charlotte's father? Oh, that's Derek. Derek Baker. And do you know how old he is? Um, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty certain he's a few years older than Barbara. And are Charlotte's parents both in good health? As far as I know, yes. Did Charlotte have any siblings? Yes, a brother called Scott. Um, he's away at university now. I think he's 20. OK. And how old was Charlotte when she died? She was only 14. Is there anything else that you think I should know about that I haven't asked you about or any other family members that you haven't mentioned? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, that's great. Thank you for all of this. Can I share some of this information with other family members or other health professionals? Yes, that's fine. Thank you.